When you go through extreme mental or emotional stress, you are approaching a nervous breakdown. A nervous breakdown, also called a mental breakdown, is a term that describes a period of extreme mental or emotional stress. This stress can become so chronic that it becomes difficult for you to go about your normal daily activities. Nervous breakdown does not indicate that you have a mental health disorder. Some time ago, experts used this term to describe different kinds of mental health problems. However, today it is no longer used in that manner. This doesn't change the fact that nervous breakdown is the proper stress response. Nervous breakdown is an unhealthy response to stress, and it often shows that there is an underlying problem like anxiety or depression. If anything causes you to be excessively stressed, it can lead to a nervous breakdown. Generally speaking, if you're feeling stressed and you do not know how to cope with it, you may start to feel overwhelmed, such that you begin to find it difficult to perform your normal day-to-day -day activities. When you're stressed like this, and you're approaching nervous breakdown, you may experience physical, psychological, and behavioral symptoms. The signs of a nervous breakdown vary from person to person. Whatever is responsible for the breakdown can also affect what symptoms you experience. How do you know you're undergoing a nervous breakdown? You know you're experiencing a nervous breakdown when you're overwhelmed by stress, such that you're finding it difficult to carry out your normal daily functions. Nervous breakdown does not readily refer to a specific mental illness or medical issue. However, it is an indication that you're overstressed and you've reached your limit, whether through emotional stress, physical stress, or a combination of the two. You may feel you're strong, but no matter how strong or resilient you think you are, there's a limit to what you can endure. If you feel you're experiencing a nervous breakdown, watch out for the following signs and seek help when you're sure you're nearing this stage. 1. Trouble concentrating. Experts have revealed that stress will affect both your body and your mind. If the stress continues for a long time, it can change the structure of your brain, and that could affect your memory and also lead to difficulty concentrating. When this continues, the brain produces too much cortisol, and this can lead to memory loss. Researchers at the University of Maryland Medical Center have equally revealed that moderate stress helps your concentration. Mild stress helps your brain to release memory-boosting hormones and enhances concentration. The results will be the same if the stress becomes chronic. Chronic stress will drastically reduce your attention span and will make it hard for you to focus on even simple tasks. If you observe that you're struggling to concentrate, you should slow down and practice some self-care. Some of the things you can do to take care of yourself include exercising, spending time observing nature, meditating, and reading. 2. Arrhythmia Having breathing issues is a telltale sign of a nervous breakdown or anxiety. Quick breathing can increase the effect of stress on your body. When you feel a tightness in your chest, it is an indication of anxiety as well. When your brain becomes severe, it means something much more. You should see your doctor. Also, start to practice a breathing exercise. Breathing exercises can help you slow down your breathing and ease your body stress response. Any irregular heartbeat qualifies as arrhythmia, and when you have no medical condition, can indicate that you're emotionally and physically stressed. Your heart is beating fast, pounding, fluttering, and skipping beats. You may experience a panic attack if you're overwhelmed. At this point, you should see your doctor. Also, you can calm your heartbeat by taking slow, deep breaths and making time for a regular yoga routine. 3. Digestive Issues When you're stressed or overly anxious, it can lead to stomach issues like cramps, bloating, constipation, and diarrhea. If you have irritable bowel syndrome, stress may trigger flare-ups, which can cause digestive discomfort. If you're stressed and starting to notice any of these symptoms, it could be a sign that you're on your way to a nervous breakdown. Not all stomach aches are caused by infections. Stomach aches can usually be a result of anxiety or stress. If you catch yourself continually coming down with cramps, gas, bloating, and diarrhea, you may be nearing a mental breakdown. You may be experiencing irritable bowel syndrome caused by overwhelming stress. Research has proven that at least 50 to 90% of people who suffer irritable bowel syndrome also have anxiety or depression. You can take advantage of drugs available to treat this and reduce intestinal spasms. However, it is safe to reduce your work schedule and take some time out for yourself. This will make a lot of difference. 4. Headaches Headaches brought about by stress are referred to as tension headaches. If you have pain around your temples and pressure that feels like a band around the head, you may be on the verge of a nervous breakdown. You may also feel this pain in your neck. The muscles in the area of your neck may become tense because your body is in a long-term fight or flight mode. Do check with your doctor if this headache persists. If the headaches become persistent, as well as the other symptoms listed above, 
It is a call to action that a nervous breakdown is clamping down on you. It would help if you started to change something about your life. 5. Insomnia If you're chronically stressed, you might find it difficult to fall asleep and stay asleep. When you can't sleep, your brain and body can recover from stress, which in turn can lead to worsening stress and anxiety. When you do not sleep well, it can also negatively impact your physical health as well as your mental performance. Not being able to get a good sleep at night only makes you more tired. This will directly make you more stressed. You can engage in a relaxing activity for at least an hour before bed. Also, stop using electronic devices one hour before bed. Some of the people who are overstressed may find they are oversleeping. Oversleeping will also lead to mental and physical problems. They may sleep too much due to becoming depressed. So, any unusual sleep pattern could be a sign that you need to look at your mental health. 6. Depression if you discover you're losing interest in the things you used to enjoy, you may be developing symptoms of depression. According to the World Health Organization, symptoms of depression are usually linked to loss of interest as well as the inability to carry out daily tasks. These symptoms can indicate the change in feeling that occurs when you're overwhelmed mentally. It could progressively lead to a mental breakdown. Some of the signs of depression include a lack of pleasure in things you used to love, feelings of hopelessness, lethargy, reduced sex drive and low self-esteem. If these signs describe you, speak to your doctor about it. With adequate treatment, you can stop depression from leading to a nervous breakdown. 7. Anxiety When you experience anxiety disorders, they are connected to mental breakdowns. These anxiety disorders come in different forms. Some depressed people may experience the fear of specific things. Others may be concerned about some certain phobias. If you think you're working close to having a nervous breakdown, or you perceive something is off with your mental health, see your doctor fast for support and advice on what to do. If you attend to it on time, you can significantly reduce the chances of going through a full-blown nervous breakdown. Don't browbeat yourself if you're struggling to cope with life stresses. However, you're not dealing with stress healthily if you're having difficulty doing your daily tasks. When you experience a nervous breakdown, it is indicative of a mental health disorder. At this point, you should see your doctor so you'll know what to do to get better. Your doctor can help you treat the physical symptoms of the nervous breakdown. Your doctor can also refer you to a psychologist or a psychiatrist. The mental health professionals can treat your emotional, mental, and behavioral symptoms. Some lifestyle changes can also help you avoid a nervous breakdown. These lifestyle changes can help to reduce the severity and frequency of nervous breakdowns. Some of these lifestyle changes include getting regular exercise at least three times a week, which can be as simple as walking around your neighborhood for 30 minutes, going to a therapist or attending counseling sessions to manage stress, avoiding drugs, alcohol, caffeine and other substances that create stress on the body, getting regular sleep and sleeping for at least 6 hours a night, incorporating relaxing techniques like deep breathing into your daily routine, reducing your stress level by pacing yourself, taking mini breaks, better organizing your environment and daily activities, and keeping a daily to-do list. You can make these changes on your own, but it may be more helpful to work with your doctor to create a treatment plan that best meets your healthcare needs. If this video inspired you, like the video. We love you.